Hi, I'm Rachel from Beads by Vichil and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a wire wrapped orchid. So I will talk you through step by step but just to give you a little sneaky peek before we start as to what sort of things you can make with this. So it's a wire work pendant but you can also convert this into doing things like the orchid hairpin piece. Let's just show you what the pendant looks like. And these are available in three different colours, in the gold, in the rose gold and in the silver. And also you can adapt it to also making it into a candle as well, a cover for a candle. So we're going to work with a couple of tools. We're going to need some side cutters, some round nose pliers. I use um, some bent nose pliers, but chain nose pliers will be good enough for that too. And we've got a crystal. I'm looking for my little seed bead, which I seem to have lost. So we will work without that. So first of all, we're going to start with our base wire, which is the thicker wire, and turn a loop with our round nose pliers. Let's just pop these tools out of the way. And we're going to start by just turning a loop, like so. Once we've turned a loop, all of the measurements are stated in the kit. We're going to start off by looping that round. Bear with me. And then pop your pliers just parallel with the loop here and turn that back up. Then we'll make a little hairpin bend slightly shorter than that one and turn a loop back in parallel. So where the loop is, is where the base of the petals is, and the top is the actual top of the petals. Now we're gonna alternate, so the next petal is gonna be the same height as that one. Now, as I say, in the kit, you may wish to use a ruler for this so that you get more precision but because I've been doing it for a little while, it does, you do get to grasps with the measurements and eyeballing it. And the last one we do is gonna be a bigger one. One, two, three, four, five. And to finish off, we will form a loop that runs parallel with that one, like so. And then with our cutters, using the flat side, cut so that you have a loop formed. So that's where we're at so far. Now it's hard to believe how you're going to go from there to there, but it's actually a very quick transformation. But before we do any shaping, we're going to pinch the top and the bottom of the petals. And what this will do is will actually give you more definition. Don't go too heavy handed because if you go too heavy handed, what will happen is because this is a plated wire, it will take off the surface plate and have copper underneath. So do go gentle. Now you can either use a pen or if you've got a tool like this, which is a jump ring mandrel, you can use that too. The next stage now is to actually form the petals. So we're gonna hug the petal around the pen or the mandrel, hold the ends and hug it round. 
let's just take that off and show you that. And you may, may wish to go for just a smaller size pen or mandrel size for the next one. Hug the next one. The next one after that. And our final one. There we go. So there is the orchid base formed. What I'd recommend you do is I would recommend that you actually work harden with a nylon tipped hammer. So basically you would either, you could have like um, a cork mat or something like that um, and you would just gently hammer around that. Again, you don't have to go too mad with it, but that really is to do two things. One is to work hard on it, which means that when you hammer it, it makes it stronger and it helps to maintain its shape as well. Now the final stages to get from there to there are we're gonna actually use a finer wire. And the finer wire is all in your kit. Now you will have a little seed bead in your kit, but I'm gonna just use a crystal for today. So I'm gonna pop the crystal in the center of the wire. And then I'm gonna pop both wires through that bead. Now overlap those wires where the loop is. And pop that through both of those. So that forms the center of our orchid. I'm gonna part those at the back. And now to pull in the petals, I'm gonna wire wrap around each petal. and that makes it a little bit more secure. And the final steps are to add little clusters of three crystals. And we're gonna do that three times. One's disappeared. So hold it out probably about a finger width away and then hold the wire the opposite side of that petal and twist. Now you want to twist but you don't want to over twist either because if you over twist it what will happen is because it's quite a fine wire it will snap. And then we're going to move on. I just need to ascertain where is the base of it. There we go, there's the base of it. So I'm gonna wire wrap around the center one and add another three. Again, hold it about a finger width away from the center of the orchid and hold the wire the other side of the petal that you're working on and twist. Finally, we can use the other wire the other side. You should still have plenty of wire, but what we'll do at the end is we'll make sure that all the wires 
are at the front of your orchid and that you trim off any excess wire. When you're using, when you're making a pendant to wear, you want to make sure that your wire, the short wires, any ends are actually at the front of your piece. And that way it ensures that you don't have any sharp edges against your skin. Now I think that one's a little bit longer, but you've got to remember with this, it's not precision based. Nature is not perfection and it just adds to the individuality of the piece. So there, we've got all of our tails at the front and we're going to trim that off. I'm just going to anchor that one. Make sure that you don't trim into the bits that you've just made. And then with your chain nose pliers, just anchor those ends in. Now, a few final bits and pieces is we want these to be a little bit twirly. So round nose pliers, let's move these out of the way and wrap, wrap that around your round nose pliers and it creates that beautiful effect of the middle stamen. So pop those where you'd like them to be. And then normally what I like to do is create a little bit of extra dimension. So perhaps against a pen is just press and curve it. And there we go, you have your orchid. And then you would pop a little ring on there, which again comes in your pack with preformed chain. And you hang that and you can adjust the chain to the length that suits you. Well, thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Enjoy your crafting.